So the loop we took today, we started here at the Etherington Creek uh, staging area, and then we followed the Etherington Creek Trail fairly flat along this way, get to the junction of Raspberry Pass, and then we headed south on the Raspberry Pass Trail. This is a fairly uh, steady climb, but not a steep climb, all the way up to the junction here. And then it's kind of up and down through through this part until this is a you get to here and then it's a fairly steep descent down to the Cataract Creek Trail. Uh, we stopped here for a for a bit of a snack break for the pups and and uh... oh here we are out sledding again out in uh, Etherington Cataract Creek area. We started off in Netherington, we crossed over now over into Cataract and we're going to head up the Cataract Creek Trail. Beautiful sunny sunny day, slight breeze. head up the cataract trail here. We've never been up that way. It connects eventually back onto Etherington Creek Trail and then loops back down to Etherington. So in total we'll probably run about 30 kilometers today. So we'll maybe stop take some pictures along the way. And my team is doing great. Then we carried on westbound on the Cataract Creek Trail. It's kind of up and down and has flat sections until you get to the the junction of the loop here and we kept on the cataract. Uh, from this point it's a fairly steady climb. Uh, there is a safety cabin here. We stopped and had lunch and talked to a few snowmobilers that were stopped there as well and then we carried on this uh, on the Cataract Creek Trail. This was a really steep climb up to this junction again, but then it uh, it got into a steady climb and we have just kept following the Etherton Creek Trail. And we went, there's a trail that's not shown on the map here that goes up onto the ridge, uh, very scenic. It overlooks the valley and uh, yeah, we took some some video and pictures up there. Well, we made it up to the top of Edrington. It was a bit of a climb, but you might say it was worth it. Beautiful sunny day. in the Alberta Rockies, or the BC Rockies, over a little bit further there. I think, uh, I think that's uh, pretty close to the, the Great Divide Ridge there that we're looking at, according to the maps anyway. How are your pups doing? You did pretty good, it was a slow pace, but we made it. We'll see if it's all downhill from here. Hey, you want to get going? It's a pretty good tug still going uphill. Whoop! Oh, that stopped this. Okay, guys. You need a little help from the old man. You need a little help from the old man, it's a tough pull. Uh, 
My gosh. It's tough on all of us. At least they can take some photo, some video when we're going slower like this. Whoop. I know I'm not doing my part back here, am I, guys? I'll leave it for now. Connected back onto the Etherington Creek Trail, and this is a fairly steep downhill. I wouldn't want to reverse uh, course on this, this loop we took today because this would be a, a long, hard uphill. And then it flattens out, uh, bridge that crosses the creek here, and then up and over a small ridge, and comes out at the west end of the barrel loop. And then we just followed the, Ether the uh, Etherington Creek Trail. Uh, this is all pretty flat and, and steady going back to the, the trailhead, the staging area, and uh, had a real good day, it was nice and sunny and clear, bit of a breeze up on top of the ridge, but uh, it was a real nice day. We were out on the, t on the trail for about six hours and covered about 30 kilometers. So we had a, a really nice family day together, a free day you might call it.